Good morning and welcome to your Friday 5 for 5 today. It is Friday, November the 6th, and I am so excited to be joining with you today. Hope you've had a good week, uh, and I hope that you have just been able to focus on him this week. You know, Pastor Jeremy yesterday talked a little bit about um, an event that took place in the life of our staff at church on Monday, and that's our annual calendar planning. And this is my calendar. This is my calendar from July of this year through December of next year. And so this is my calendar that I use. You can see it's pretty well worn and um, marked up pretty well and got all kind of colors in it. I love colors, and I color code my calendar based on different activities, different ministries, and whatnot, and I love to plan. So 2020 has just been tough for me as a planner. Um, from the beginning of, I guess, April, really the end of March throughout, the, uh, throughout even now, there have been so many spots in this calendar that I have had to white out or I've had to scratch out and uh, I've just stopped using colored ink and I'm using pencil because changes are coming all the time. In fact, right now, this weekend, our choir should be away at our second choir tour, um, but we didn't get to do that because of COVID-19. In fact, our choir is not even back practicing yet in person due to this pandemic. Change is here. And you know, this life, this year has been full of change and it has been unpredictable. And for a planner like me, that has been tough. It has just been tough. They've laughed at me at the church because since we've been back in the office, I've been listening to Christmas music and I have planned four different Christmas um, productions or Christmas services or sets of services throughout this time because things kept changing and we had to keep changing uh, our plans. But, you know, as I think about the plans changing and my plans changing, there is one that we serve, one that we worship, who will never change. Hebrews 13.8 tells us that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. And, you know, when I think about, about Jesus, when I think about God, I think about what I've read about him, what I've heard taught about him. The, the stories of him feeding the thousands, the stories of him healing the blind and the lame and the mute and the deaf, the stories of him raising the dead, the stories of him teaching, the stories of him walking on water, the stories of his righteous anger when he turned over the tables of the money changers in the temple. You know, I think about his rebuke of Peter when he tried to talk him out of uh, going through his torture and death, and even when he cut off Malchus's ear when Jesus was being arrested. But you know what? The same Jesus then, the same Jesus that we've heard taught about, the same Jesus who did all those amazing things when he was here on earth is no different today than he was then. He is the same teacher, the same feeder, the same motivator, the same challenger, the same healer, the same rebuker. He is the same Savior and Lord. And he is still doing miraculous things today as he did then and as he will be doing in the future. He is still in control. And though this life may have changed, though your life, though your plans may have changed, God is unchanging. He is the same yesterday and today and forever. And no matter what happens tomorrow, no matter what happens next week, next month, next year, the same Jesus of the Bible, the same Jesus that's helping us through today will be the same Jesus that walks with us then. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So this morning, I want you to rest in that. Rest in the fact that though this life may be full of change and it may be unpredictable, we serve a God who we can count on because he will never change. We love you guys. We hope to see you on Sunday morning, whether it's in person or here uh, live through our website, through Facebook, through Twitter, uh, through our BoxCast app. 
Just know that we as your pastors are praying for you and we love you. We can't wait to worship with you again soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye.